Today I'm going to be showing you how to create titles in your Avid project for your slideshow. We're going to be creating opening titles along with titles that will overlay on top of your pictures. Let's get started. First, make sure that you have created a titles bin inside of your project window and that that bin is open now. Next, you're going to open your title tool by selecting Tools, Title Tool from your drop-down menu. Click Title Tool. Now you see your Title Tool window and you'll notice the Title Safe and Action Safe zones within. Make sure that your title fits within these parameters to safely ensure you see it on the final screen. Go ahead and type your text. Once you've done that, you'll want to highlight your text and select the arrow selection tool at the bottom. This way you can move your text around to the location that you would choose. Also with your text selected, you can now choose which font and you can adjust the size of the text as well. Since we're creating an opening title, we'd like to have a solid color background and not see the picture behind the text. In order to do this, you're going to turn off the video background at the very bottom by clicking the green V. Once you've done this, you can see that the image no longer shows through and you can actually select a background color of your choice by choosing from the color picker like so. Once you've done that, you want to remember to always add a border and a shadow to make your text stand out from the background. Again, with your text selected, you can choose your border width from the very bottom left of the title tool. I usually go for the second one. Again, whatever your preference is, you can choose. On the far right of your title tool, you can see the shadow depth and direction. By adjusting the image here, you can control what your shadow will look like. The addition of the shadow creates a 3D effect and allows your text to pop out of the screen. Remember, you want to try and keep your project professional, typically a light color, on a dark background is best and stay away from hard to read fonts. A thick or fat font is usually easier to read than something that's too thin. You can adjust your font size here. Again, you can choose a different font here. You can choose bold or italic as well. The last step would be to choose the color of your text. Again, Selecting your fill color, your color picker will show up and you can go through and choose what looks nice for you. I'm going to stick with white. Once you've finished your title, all you have to do is close the window by selecting the X in the top left of the corner and choosing to save the title. Always name your titles so you know where they are. This one I'm going to call my opening title and I'm going to select to save it in my titles bin. Then I'm going to click save. Once I've done that, my title is loaded up into my preview screen and it's also here in my titles bin. Now please note that Avid saves your titles automatically at a duration of two minutes. It's a really long time for a title. So we definitely want to use our um, marking to mark the clip and select what duration we want the title to be before we insert it in front of our pictures for the slideshow. In order to do that, I'm going to move towards the middle and I'm going to mark an in with I on the keyboard. And then I'm going to say that I'd like my title to last for five seconds. So I'm going to use the numeric keypad and I'm going to choose plus five zero zero enter. And then I'm going to mark my out. 
Next, to insert this title in front of my slideshow in my timeline, I'm going to choose, I'm going to make sure that my position indicator is at the beginning of my slideshow, and then I'm going to choose V to insert the slide into the slideshow. Once I've done that, I can see that my opening title is first, and then I see my next image. Now I'm going to create a title on top of one of my images as an overlay. So again, I'm going to go to Tools, Title Tool, to open up my Title Tool. Now this time, I do want to see the image in the background so I can line up my title where it's going to go. I can type here... Again, I'm going to go for my selection tool so that I can move my text around. I'm going to change my font, adjust my parameters, and don't forget that all-important border and shadow. Especially with a picture in the background, a lot of times that text can get lost. Um, this time I'm going to choose the dropper and I'm gonna go for this yellow. Let's see how that looks. Okay, pretty cool. So I can actually select a color from the image itself for my fill for my text. Okay, so I'm satisfied with my title here. I've adjusted everything I want. I've got a, um, a shadow down here. I've got my border width and I make sure that my video background is on. Next, I'm going to save by closing out of this window. Yes, I want to save, and I'm going to name this Go Spartans so I remember what it says. And again, I'm going to save it inside my titles bin. Save. Now you can see that it's loaded up on my preview screen, but I can't see that video background. I can just see the transparent behind it. Um, that's okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to return to my timeline, and I'm going to mark where I want this title to go. So I'm going to go to the very beginning of this clip by holding down the command button and clicking. I'm going to mark an I for in, and I know I'm at the very first frame by this little um, parenthesis here. And then I'm going to command click at the end, and I'm going to mark my out with my O. Now I can't just drop my title down right on top of here because it will make my image disappear. So I have to add another track so that I can layer the title on top of my image. In order to um, add another track, pretty simple, I'm just going to right click, select new video track. Now the important step over here on the left side of my timeline is to actually patch my V1 up to V2. So what I'm saying here is by dragging my V1 up to V2 that whatever's in this monitor is now going to be dropped onto video track 2. And I can go ahead and just push B to overwrite. And when I look back, I see now my title is on top of the image and I have my beginning title here. Make sure that this um, button here is always on. Sometimes I have students that have this on a lower track here and they say they can't see their title. So you want to make sure that this monitor is always on the highest track and that it's always turned on so you can see your image. Alright, so go ahead and create an opening title along with some titles on top of your images for the slideshow and um, tune in next for transition effects and filters. Thank you.